All right, well, good morning. Another night to slept through it. Uh, I think my ride is here. I'll have to go check. <laughs> Sorry, I'm freaking out. Anyway, gonna go back to work. Slept like a bug in a rug last night in my hammock. It was wonderful. Having some coffee right now. And we'll get the day started. So let's go see uh, what the plan is. That's my buddy. That's my buddy. That's my little buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay. All right. Well, it is like 1 2 o'clock. My watch doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I let it die. Anyway, we're back at the bus. Finished up my work for the morning. I got the whole rest of the afternoon to get this thing closer to being finished. So my plan today is to get these batteries all wired up. I got the cabling here. I'm going to get these batteries all connected. Now there's six volt batteries. And I need 12 volts. So you take two of them together, make 12 volts out of them. Do another two, make 12 volts out of those. And connect those in parallel, I think it is. We're going to figure that one out to make sure they come out with 12 volts. So I'm going to look over my diagram. I'm going to start getting some wire cut. Get this working so we can have our own power tonight. Because running that generator just to get the fridge cold is not cool. So let's first take a look at our drawing, shall we? All right, so we're working on the electrical. Uh, I got uh, this little two gauge, this big two gauge cable uh, terminated. I got the little, uh, look at the ends crimped on with this little hammer crimper. I'm gonna show you how to use that here shortly. So we got this measure that worked out really good. It's just gonna fit right between the positive and negative post of these two batteries. So now we have another wire that I stripped you see that? Strip the tip. And we're going to simply put it in the terminal here. This is hard to do with just one hand. So that's going to sit like that. And it's going to go inside this. You can kind of see this. Right, move the little thick pin in the back, which raises the, uh, the plunger. We set our piece in like so, and then we move this clip, so kind of just hold it in place. And then with a hammer, we bang the crap out of it. If you bang it hard enough, you get a nice little crimp. But it tends to curve the backside up, so I just kind of lay it flat and flatten it back out best I can. Then we put electrical tape around it because I didn't get the heat shrink tubing. It cost too much money. I spent, uh, what was it, 200 and 250 bucks on just the wiring alone. All right, so that's how one end is done. Now we take it over here and we measure it. All right, we go back to our batteries and we're gonna be going from that terminal to this one right here. So I get another ring, hold it about there to see the distance. I'm gonna make my mark on the wire, then I cut it. Wait to see how I cut this. So how I cut it, I basically cut the rubber. And because my only tool for cutting is this little tiny clippers, I open it up. Yeah, anything's possible, but you open it up and just kind of start nipping away at the wiring. It's not the greatest. It takes a while, but it does get the job done. The ordinary wire cutters would not be able to accommodate two gauge wire. Two gauge is pretty fat. Call it possible overkill on my system here. You can't really go with 
too fat of a cable. Cost way more money, which I didn't realize. But um, you're safer going with a bigger cable. So on my last system I had, I think it was a four gauge wire. This is two gauge. That way I won't have any fires. And one less thing to worry about. The last little nip. Ah. Not a fun thing to do here. Nice to have one, one big clip. Even with big clippers, this doesn't go that, that slick. Okay. So now, I'm going to take the cap. Set it about near the end. And we mark... Up there where we want the uh, the plastic where we want it to be stripped. So if you can see this, there's our mark. I just basically cut in. You cut until you can feel the metal. And you just kind of keep cutting into the rubber, the plastic, so you can feel the metal. Just kind of cut up to it. You don't want to be messing up your blade too bad, but you want to kind of feel that metal that tells you that you've cut through and what I'll do I'll just kind of spin and twist the uh, the insulation off and what that does it puts a nice twist to the wires themselves where I can easily insert it and twist it into the ring terminal and I want to make sure that these all both lay in the same plane they're flat Make sure they are, like one's not twisted one way or the other. About like that red. Excuse me. Let me get the crimp tool. And repeat the process. Alright, so we have one there. And one there, I think we got a third one we're gonna do right there. And we'll repeat the process. We'll see right after that. Good thing I checked my diagram. I almost messed this up. Here, look at this. So here's my diagram. We have, here's the short cable I just built. And I put the other one here. It's like, whoops, we only want two of these short cables. Because again, we're connecting two battery, two six volts to make 12, and these two to make 12. So we're finished with these two, or these and those. Now we gotta work on connecting um, these negatives and positives. All right, so we're gonna have a cable going from negative to negative there, okay. All right, well, we got the last cable finished here, which is gonna now complete our 12 volt system. Two batteries connected in series. I'm pretty sure it's series or parallel. I'm pretty sure it's series. So these two six volts make 12. These two six volts make, make 12. And then we're connecting them in parallel to maintain 12 volts with a lot of battery juice. Next up in the line, if we look at our main battery bank, we're going up to a big disconnect, which should be this sucker right here. So I'm going to make one more cable going from the main red positive off to this. Well, before it gets too dark, we're gonna get the lights on tonight. I've been following my directions and uh, we're about to connect it all together. Let me kind of walk you through what we have so far. Except connect the batteries. Well, let's look at the inverter here first. I want to get that set up that I can plug my power into and then I can set the solar panels up later. We got the red hot line coming into the power inverter from the batteries and it goes from here to a 250 amp circuit breaker. That's, uh, the circuit is closed, circuit is open or broken. That line then goes to a positive bus. There's nothing connected to this now because later we'll be connecting the DC uh, outlet to that, but that's just a connection. Then we go to a full on disconnect right there, kind of like this, so, but that's, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to charge these batteries later, but I have the disconnect, and then this last red lead is going to go to this battery terminal. Let's look back at the negative now. Off the inverter, the negative is going from the um, inverter straight to a negative bus bar. Again, other things will be connected to that, and that negative is going to go to the negative terminal on the batteries. So I'm going to connect the batteries together, then we'll connect this, and we should have power, and we're going to see if this works. All right, here we go. 